Earning money from creating content is currently considered one of the easiest business right now. You will make exorbitant money and it will be easy for you anymore. Just post videos on social networking sites such as TikTok creativity, short clips for YouTube, and achieving income conditions on them. There are many channels and accounts that earn a lot of money. They monopolize information and do not want you to compete in this field. But with Miko today, we will learn about a new niche where we will discuss all the steps from how to create a script to editing step by step. But first of all, I want to make an announcement that I created a group in Telegram. You can submit to it for free. You will find its link in the video description. So let's start. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to encourage us to continue. But first of all, let's take a fresher on what we're going to modify. Hey foodies, today we're whipping up a quick and refreshing cucumber avocado salad. The ingredients are cucumber, avocado, red onion, lime juice, cilantro, salt. Chuck everything into a bowl, avocado, cucumber, and red onion first. Top with herbs, then drizzle, sprinkle all the dressing ingredients over. No need to make the dressing separately for this recipe. Toss well using your hands, gently separating the avocado and cucumber slices. Tumble into a bowl and serve. So first we will ask ChatGPT to give us 10 simple recipes. We are waiting a little. After it's finished, we'll ask him to add a special paragraph only with the ingredients. As you can see, now he writes it, we wait until he finishes writing it. When it's over, we'll pick the meal we want to make a video about. In this video, I will choose cucumber avocado salad. After this step, we will ask ChatGPT again to write us an introduction about how to cook this dish as you can see. He wrote it, but it was long, so I asked him to rewrite it smaller than the first. As you can see, he wrote it as required. Then we go to this site. You will find a link in the description of the video. It is related to the field of cooking. We will return to ChatGPT and copy the name of the meal and paste it here and look for it. Then we choose one of the options. Then you will find everything related to the required dish, including ingredients, cooking method, description, etc. Don't forget, you must make sure the amounts of this meal are the same as those found in ChatGPT. Then we go to Leonardo AI as usual, and we search for the names of the ingredients we will use. Then we choose one of them and turn it into a video. In this way, we wait a little, then we download it, we do these steps on all the ingredients, and we also add the dish to make a video for it, even it. After you've finished that step now, we'll go to the site of 11 Labs AI to convert the written into a saying. Then we'll choose the sound of the appropriate character. I'll use Adam. Then I'll type the ingredients R, then click on Generate, wait a little, and then download the audio. We do the same steps on all the ingredients one by one, and then you download them in the same way in addition to the introduction. But we will only use the first sentence of it in this way. Then we will return to the site we mentioned earlier, and then copy the following steps in this form and convert them to a saying using 11 Labs AI. It is better to copy one by one. And download images on the site because we will need them in editing. Then we will go to YouTube and search for music without copyright related to cooking in order to make it like music for the background of the video. Download it. Now we'll head to CapCut, add all the supplies we downloaded, then add the audio for the introduction, and then we'll set the empty places at the beginning, as you can see, then we'll rearrange it. Then we add the special audio, the gradients are, then we do the same steps, we delete the empty part at the beginning, then we reset its place, then we delete a small part of the empty place at the end, as you can see. Then we add all the audios that contain the names of the ingredients one by one, in order in this shape. Then we delete the blanks in this audio, as you can see, because I found it inappropriate to have blanks in the front of the video, so we delete them like this, Then we will arrange all the audios in this way. Then we will add the video we made from Leonardo AI, which relates to the meal to be as a background for the video. Then we will add the picture that we downloaded from the cooking site. Then we will adjust the duration of the picture, and then we will change the shape of the video from width to length in this way. Then we zoom in the image to fill the face of the video like this. Then we add the videos of the ingredients one by one in this form, 
and adjust the duration with the audio so that the video is consistent with the sound in this form. We do these steps on all gradients. But at the end, we won't delete them all. We'll leave part of it to use it as a background. So we'll go to Effects and look for a Blur option and add it to this format and adjust its intensity in this way. After that, we return to the cooking site. Then we copy this sentence. We return to the cap cut. Then we add a writing to this method. And then we paste the sentence in this place, as you can see. After that, we modify the writing from its size, font, and style, etc. Follow me. Before changing the style, we will add animation. In entering, we will choose this, and in the exit, we will choose fade out. I will change the writing style in the video in a little while. Then we will shorten the duration of the paragraph in this way. Then I will add the previous videos of the ingredients, but in a random way because here I will only use them as a background. I'll add them blur effect in this way. Then I'll add audios to the cooking method in this way. Then I'll add more videos that will be like a background for the video in this format, and don't forget to add blur effect to them. In the blur effect, choose 21 in capacity as you can see. Then after that, we will add this image, which explains the method. We cut the image on this shape. The first part will be consistent with the first audio, and then the second part will be in harmony with the second audio. We add animation in the latest video fade out. Then we go to the effects and look for the shake effect and add it, then we reduce its duration according to the image, then we adjust the details to this shape. Next, we go to the transitions option, then we choose then and now, and we add it to all the places you need as you can see now. We add it in all places without blasting, After completion, we return to the first sentence and change its style in this way. Then we go to writing and choose auto caption. Then we change the language to English. We wait until captions appear with us. After it appears, we will delete these words of the ingredients on this way. After that, we change the font of the writing in this way. Then we also change the template for captions and we will choose this. Then we will increase the size of the writing and then we will try to put the writing in the middle of the screen to attract the attention of the viewer. We will do almost the same process on this part. 
Now we'll add the whoosh sound effect, and we'll add it in the places that have a transition to come in harmony with the transition effect. Finally, we will add the music that we downloaded previously, but do not forget to reduce its voice a little so that it does not exceed the voice of the narrator. In order not to forget, I also added the pop sound effect in this snapshot. In addition, if you want the video to be longer than 50 seconds, you can add all this information. Finally, don't forget to make sure of the quality of the video and the number of videos. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, please not in order. We meet in a new video, bye bye.